Welcome to this lecture on differentiated instruction. Today we're going to focus on pre-assessment. In this lecture we're going to find that pre-assessment will really serve as the foundation and the guiding point for which all differentiated instruction will spring from. Pre-assessment will give us the data to really understand who our students are across a number of dimensions. The three major dimensions that we'll look at are readiness, interest, and learning profile. It's advisable for teachers to gain information on all three of these areas. Going back to the website, you'll see that there are some resources to be able to develop um, instruments to assess these areas. By assessing all three areas and gathering data in these three areas, it helps a teacher to be much more systematic about differentiation. One of the big criticisms of differentiation is that it looks like it's haphazard or lacks rigor. The reason can be is because it's not based in data. By looking at these areas, really understanding what the student characteristics are, approaching the learning situation, will help build that rigor and increase the systematic approach to differentiation. The first area of pre-assessment that we'll cover are learning profiles. Learning profile really refers to the learning preferences that students have. These are shaped by a number of different factors including culture, gender, past experiences. And so it's important for the teacher to really have a good understanding of what the learning profile is. In order to do that, it's most effective if you look at your own learning profile. If you go to the website, you'll see that there is a learning uh, styles uh, inventory that it would be helpful for you to take to be able to look at what your learning preferences are. Once you've established what your learning preferences are, then you can see the instructional techniques and, and strategies that you use can be related to those learning um, style preferences. So it's best to vary those kinds of approaches. So once you've assessed your own learning styles, take a look at your own instructional repertoire and see how can you stretch that to meet the needs of, of this, all the students within your class. The next area of a pre-assessment that we want to look at is readiness. Readiness refers to assessing the student's requisite skills. What do they enter the learning situation with? We know that if we're trying to build a sequence of learning, if students are missing certain experiences or knowledge or skill or, or understandings, that, that uh, mastery of new concepts is going to be very weak. One of the areas that we know very specifically impacts in this area is academic vocabulary. For students with second language um, backgrounds, they may not possess the necessary vocabulary. Readiness gives us a way to be able to kind of look at the, the necessary skills that are in the upcoming unit, be able to assess, do students have that? If they don't, then we step back and sort of fill in those holes. If you refer to the DI workbook, you'll see that there's a graphic organizer for determining how to assess readiness for students. Also on the website, you'll find that there are some resources to show you how teachers can assess readiness. So you'll see a couple of different, um, both at a primary and an intermediate uh, level example, on assess assessing readiness in certain skills. The final area of pre-assessment that we want to look at is the assessment of student interest. Assessing interest helps us to determine what a student's passions or curiosities are about an upcoming topic. It's probably the area that we don't assess very often, um, yet it can be a very powerful tool to be able to really hook students into new learning. By determining what a student's interests or passions are about an upcoming unit helps us to identify the appropriate hooks to increase student engagement. It can also help us determine what strategies we might need to increase a student's interest in a particular topic. One of the concerns that we always have is that students seem unmotivated or uninterested in, in, um, in, in particular units or content. And by sort of gathering some of this information up front, we can help use alternate paths in order to be able to engage them in the tasks at hand. 
On the website, you'll see that there are a number of different resources to look at how to assess students' interests. Sometimes it seems kind of odd to be able to do this kind of assessment because the reality of it is, is that we need to cover that particular content or standard. Um, yet, yeah, it can be a very powerful tool for engaging students if we ask them, how are you interested in this topic?